Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is gonna be a Taurus reading, January 23rd and 24th, okay? There's a whole bunch of Tauruses out there. This is not gonna be every single Taurus's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. So let's see. Taurus, January 23rd and 24th. Taurus. January 23rd and 24th, 2021. Two more shuffles, Taurus. January 23rd and 24th, 2021. Last shuffle, Taurus. January 23rd and 24th, 2021. Okay, Taurus, clean it up. You could be reconciling with someone or fixing a, fixing a situation ship type of thing here with that clean it up. I just saw that star there. I never noticed it before. Three stars. <laughs> okay, mending. Yeah, see, I felt like it was a relationship, but I didn't want to say that, unless I knew for sure, but yeah, it's a relationship. Could be a friendship, doesn't have to be a relationship, you know? Could have been like a friend with benefits type of situation, not for you, you know? And, you know, it's like, no, I don't want that. I want the real thing. So it was just round and round and round. You know, Taurus, you're going in cycles with this person. You know, and I don't know who was playing the games here, but it's looking like this person isn't really changing if they're going in cycles here. And you, wow, look at that, 5225. This is the second time I have to do this reading. And um, the first one was because, like, I kicked my tripod and, like, <laughs> I need to find a better tripod. I mean, it's just like I have it right next to my desk. It's not important. Um, okay. So Taurus, January 23rd and 24th. I was like, I'm rambling. Let me just get into the reading. Yeah, but it feels like they haven't really changed if they've just been going in cycles. And I feel like, you know, you want to be the bigger person and you want to like, just can we just fix it? I don't like this petty drama. I don't like these games. You know, can we just fix this? Clean it up. You see, can we just, can we work together? Can we work together? Even if it's friendships, even if it's coworkers, just can we work together? You know what I mean? So let's see, Taurus, you versus them. January 23rd and 24th, you versus them. Two more shuffles, Taurus, January 23rd and 24th, last shuffle, Taurus. So both of you guys don't like the games. Let's see, with the Hermit card, you could be dealing with the Virgo. You guys are working on your yourselves individually, separately. Um, yeah, Five of Swords. Putting self-interest first. That means, it's because I always say put yourself first and people like don't understand what I mean by that when I say, you know, you're putting yourself first. That means you're making yourself a priority above everybody else. You know what I mean? And, you know, it's about time you do that so things could change for the better, okay? Um, whether this is you or a cross watcher that I'm, you know, that this is resonating with. See, Taurus, some of you guys are dealing with a marriage with a twin flame, a long-term relationship. So some of you guys could be trying to repair a marriage. But, again, this person, it's just cycles. Hold on. We'll get into it. Okay, hold on. Um, see, your person has regrets. They just... I don't, I just don't feel like they changed Taurus. I'm, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, you see, they just, they can't get over the disappointment of wanting a marriage with you that they're walking away. Wow. And you're here like, I don't know about marriage. I don't know, I have to heal. After all these games and stuff. I don't know, four and four here. King of Wands. You know, I feel like, well, I'll clarify the King of Wands right now. King of Swords here. Queen of Cups. So, Taurus, I feel like this is you. You know, you're coming across as in your passion, in your ego. Not, But ego isn't a bad thing. You know, it's just if there's too much ego, it can be bad. This is more of an ego self-defense mechanism. Like, I know my worth. I'm not just about to, you know, go put myself in situations like that. Team, the king of pentacles this person probably cared a lot about finances 
Taurus, whether that was you or them. And with the Hermit card, King of Pentacles, this is something that they're working on. Uh, you have to be patient with them with that Temperance card. They could have, yeah, things are not what they seem here. There's a lot of illusion still at work here. So if this person is like, you have someone else, you know, and you're in a relationship with them, blah, blah. Like, that's the devil, literally. That's the devil. Um, I feel like, well, I'm just going to clarify real quick. Okay, Eight of Cups, Taurus, Janu uh, January 23rd and 24th. What is the Eight of Cups for Taurus's person? January 23rd and 24th. 2021. Look at that. See, they're walking away because I don't know if you were a player Taurus. I'm just saying because it's upside down on their side. As to why they're walking away is because you might look nice. You dress nice. You might even smell nice, right? Um, but if they give you your heart, their heart, you'll break it. That's how they're seeing it, okay? Don't hate the messenger. Um, that's how they're seeing it. So they want to walk away. Because they think, you know, you are being fake. You know, I, I, would, I could just be happy by myself. You know, I'm not saying that's what happened. That's how they see it. That's why they want to walk away. They're disappointed. So what is the Five of Cups? Taurus is person, January 23rd and 24th. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like speak slow or whatever. It's just like I get attacked sometimes and it's really unnecessary. Like I'm just delivering the message. Um, see, with the musician card, someone could have been very manipulative in the past and there's regrets. And with this hanged man here on Taurus's side, Taurus, you're facing an internal battle. You know, you're like, whoa, marriage. I don't know. I have to heal. You know, like... I said, that's your internal battle there. You're still hurt. You're still healing. Four of Swords, Taurus, January 23rd and 24th. You know, maybe you're not hurt, but like, it's like you're still in that space where you're working on yourself with that Four of Swords. Yeah, you're working on any issues you have with that Five of Pentacles. It could be financial issues. It could be just like this person makes you feel not good enough, you know? So that's not for you. With the Five of Pentacles, not for you. You know, it's like, look, you know, you're ruining my, you're stripping my pride from me. You know, like I should just leave. Um, what is the King of Swords, Queen of Cups for us? Yeah, there's a lot of fear here. I feel like you guys are both talking in this King of Swords energy. But yeah, see, very closed off, very closed off, very doubtful, very hesitant. What is the Queen of Cups? Because I feel like your person has genuine love for you. But with this Wheel of Fortune, it just has to happen. You know, the universe, that's divine timing right there. That is divine timing. And no one likes to hear that answer, right? They want a one month, two month, three month answer. But right now it's saying divine timing. Oh, very soon. Never mind. Very soon. Give me a number. Oh, give me a number. Fine, guys. You guys get a number. Oh, seven. Seven. So in seven days. So this might be something we carry on. This is looking like your person, Taurus, is going to have boundaries. And um, if you come rushing in, they're going to be standoffish. If you don't come rushing in, um, they're just, I mean, they're just going to be defensive either way. So I feel like your person, Taurus, um, they want to come to you. But I feel like it's only, it's going to be like in seven days. Um, that they come to you just because uh, full of excuses exactly at the bottom of the deck right here uh, these are like cards I wrote myself okay so Taurus January 23rd and 24th 2021 Taurus see if any of you if your person moved on Taurus they want to leave them for you they dream about you Taurus as for you, yeah, see, they think you're the best thing in their life. They're stalking you. Um, as for here on your side, we have you're all I want. Would you take me back? But I feel like this is something, um, you see, I'm not happy being single. That, you know, you kind of realize, like, you know, you're not really happy being single. You know, you'd rather be, like, in some sort of friendship with them at the least but yeah i wanted 
afraid to open up. See, someone's too afraid to open up. So they can't even ask, would you take me back in the past? So someone couldn't ask that in the past because my cards like to fall out. Um, if you are new, hold on. I don't like to do this. Past, present, whoa, present, and then future. That's how my cards like to fall out. This is in the past because it's way over here. It's in the past, like way over there, right? So in the past, they were afraid to open up to ask if you would take them back. So now it's just all this, I feel like I'm not good enough. And it's like, well, because all this time has passed. So there's quite a predicament here. Taurus, January 23rd and 24th, 2021. Any more messages from Taurus's person? Directed to Taurus currently. I think you're sexy. Of course, I'm realizing my mistakes. So they think you're sexy and they realize their mistakes now. I'm like, why are these cards messed up? But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. You know, I feel like this is something that the distance, your person kind of needed this to realize why they're going in cycles. It's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, you know? So I feel like your person loves you and they have a lot of disappointments. They want to walk away, but then they want to come in. Like, your person is a train wreck. I'm sorry, Taurus. Your person is a train wreck. Um, but I don't know. Their energy is just, they want you. They haven't. You know, I feel like they want to come back. It, it'll probably be in seven days. You'll probably hear from them again, okay? Uh, right now, it's a lot of, you want to mend this. And they want to play games and it's a cycle. What is the three of sword for Taurus? Yeah, you see, look, you don't want to repeat the past. You don't want to repeat it. And because you don't want to repeat the past, guess what? You're at a financial turning point in your life. You just got to be patient. The temperance card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Cancer. And that's about all the major arcana, arcanas I have, okay? But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.